10 days and building mistakes. Hey what's up guys, yes you heard it right, today's video will focus on everybody's favorite aspect of the game, building and yeah when you think of building you also automatically think of your base so I grouped them together. This is part 3 of an ongoing series about mistakes both new and advanced players tend to make in Valheim, basically tips and tricks to improve your gameplay and I actually did cover some base related mistakes in the first two parts. Uh, those will be in the description if you haven't seen them yet and yeah let's get right into this but before we get into this video this video is sponsored by viking server hosting renting a server in valheim makes it possible to have a world where you and your friends can 24 7 play on without you having to wait for a host to be in the game as well and viking server hosting has a very simple setup that takes less than two minutes and only takes one button press to launch your server also they have a great customer service ran by people with no life so you'll in fact get really fast response so yeah check them out you get a two-day trial for free via my link so you can try it out for free and see if you're happy with them now let's actually get into the video mistake number one building all your upgrades together so this mistake is mainly a mistake if you do not like the look of having all your workbench and forge upgrades in the same room but also if you actually want to make use of the space the upgrades are currently occupying and as you can see here all the upgrades together take quite some space and especially smaller bases will look very cramped and chaotic because you do in fact have to place them close to your workbench and forge for your workbench and forge to get those juicy upgrades but yeah all these upgrades are uninteractable objects so they also don't have a function outside of making your workbench and forge more useful so how do you fix this well you can hide them and an easy way to do this and also my favorite way is by removing the upgrades and the floor beneath them then digging under your base with your pickaxe until you have a nice room with enough space make the room look nice or not it doesn't really matter because yeah you'll probably not see it that often and then place all the upgrades down here boom there it is Then ultimately close the room with your floor of choice and yeah look at all that space and that neat look you just have created by yeah hiding all of the upgrades and the best thing is is that your workbench and forge will still be usable and will still be max level mistake number two not knowing that the hoe is mightier than the shield so for those that have seen my other videos you know that this is a play on a trick i covered before but yeah that trick was in the wild and this is actually something that quite a lot of players do not do and it's basically using your hoe to make your base an incredible defensive fort when you use the hoe and in this case the raise ground option you can in fact create indestructible earth pillars and the first pillar will cost a little bit of stone admittedly but every pillar afterwards will only cost four stone as you can raise the ground with the following trick just aim your cursor at the right height raise the ground and the next pillar will automatically raise to the same height of the previous pillar and this is actually a really cheap way of building an incredible defensive wall and yeah surround your base with these pillars tied together so basically in conjunction and you will ultimately create a indestructible wall and yeah your base will be good to go okay so here's an example we're surrounded by great dwarves do we panic no because they can do shit it's pathetic and you can hunt them down easily from your base one by one this way and they can't do anything to you but what if large scary enemies come to your base will this still be useful and the answer is yes indestructible means indestructible and again with these monsters you can also kill them easily from a distance however you should be cautious for enemies that throw stuff over the wall but there's also an easy workaround for that believe it or not because you can create a moat around your base or just increase the distance of the walls to your base and on a similar note actually don't build the walls too close to your base or otherwise your base parts might still get hit from melee attacks I don't know if it's a bug, but the attack can in fact go through the wall sometimes. Uh -huh. Terraforming is actually a major cause of lag, so don't use the hoe more than necessary by, for example, making your walls way too big. But yeah, create those indestructible walls and your base will have a 10 out of 10 defense system. Mistake 2.5, not knowing that the pickaxe is mightier than the shield. Now the alternative to using the hoe, if you don't like the hoe for some reason or another, is just using the pickaxe and instead of building indestructible walls, 
you build trenches. So trenches are just the opposite of walls in theory, but they do the same thing basically, as enemies do not have a way to cross deep pits. So this is also a very solid option. You can even combine trenches with indestructible walls for the most secure base in the world. And uh, yeah, you'll have to make that decision for yourself. If you already built a trench or an indestructible wall, let me know in the comments if you are team trench or if you are team indestructible wall. Mistake number three, building a boring base. Boring. Obviously, boring is a subjective term, but yeah, you know what I mean. A lot of people will just make a square type of base, standard roof, and boom, done for the rest of the game. <laughs> but, 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 building in Felheim is actually really in-depth and richer than you might think. And you can make amazing buildings that by just looking at them will increase your enjoyment of the game. So yeah, try building great things and having ambitions for amazing projects. And see all the greatness Valheim can truly give. But on a serious note, I had to throw this mistake in here as I have heard a lot of stories of people not being into the building aspect and then they tried it out and then they were hooked for life. Mistake number four, starting your building project without a foundation. Now this is more of a beginner mistake, but when you start building without an idea in mind, yeah, it can get quite frustrating. It can lead to building too big or too small or not having a good idea of how you want to fit your roof or just your base collapsing together because you don't have any support or structural integrity because the upper half of your base cannot be supported by the lower half. And yeah, things that will just end up in you destroying your base halfway because you're not happy, etc., etc. So a good way to start building is by just laying a foundation using beams and yeah, make a shape you like and then start building from there if you start off with beams then you can snap floor tiles perfectly into the beams and you'll have a great looking start continue to use beams for the structural integrity of your base or yeah in other words preventing that pieces that you want to build will not just immediately fall off because there is no support for those pieces and it's always a good idea to flatten the ground with a combination of using the pickaxe and the hoe until it's nicely shaped and this way you will also have an easier time building mistake number five not making secret rooms so secret rooms are actually quite fun and useful basically you can use banners as curtains and just walk through them meaning if you build a wall around them with the banner closing the gap to another room you'll pretty much create your own secret room now obviously you do not want every banner to lead to a secret room to yeah not ruin the idea so mix the banners that function as an entrance to your secret room with a good amount of banners that are just placed on a wall now, why would you bother with secret rooms? Well, it is especially nice if you're into PvP or combat and can make good use of the strategic aspect of these secret rooms, but also if you just want to add an additional layer to your base, or if you just want to roleplay and, for example, hide certain types of valuable loot in these rooms, there are a lot of functional but also fun uses to these secret rooms. And in addition to banners, you can also use rocks. With rocks, you can create underground secret rooms or even your own tunnels. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you want to make these secret rooms. Mistake number six, thinking that rain is sweet and innocent. Rain, little drips of water. How can that possibly be harmful? Well, if your base consists out of wood, they will in fact damage all your individual roof tiles, walls, etc, etc, up to 50% of their health. And I actually heard quite some stories of people realizing that this is in the game only after playing hundreds of hours, as it can be quite subtle. So definitely worth mentioning in my opinion. If the color of certain base pieces become different, then you know that the rain has in fact damaged them. So yeah, don't forget to repair those pieces to keep your base healthy and safe. Mistake number seven, building too much for a workbench, a forge, etc, etc in the wild. So as you might know, for using a workbench and other crafting tables, you will need a roof. And sometimes you will want to build your workbench in the wild quickly and you don't want to spend too much time on building a setup to get your workbench working. So the fastest way is to find a big tree place your workbench under it and then attach a diagonal roof on the tree like this 
and with only one piece you will have a working workbench as you can see and of course it also works for the forge it's really all about the positioning if you're having troubles with this and you don't mind using an additional piece then you can also just use two diagonal pieces which is also still incredibly fast of course a secret message have you still not subscribed to Nizar GG? Well, time to do it. One button click and we're good to go. It's completely free as well. What more do you want? So subscribe right now and I'll give you a cookie of your choice. Two cookies if you put the bell notifications on as well. Mistake number eight. Thinking you can't make terrain an active part of your builds. So there's a lot of different types of terrain in Valheim, depending on the biome you're in, of course. And a lot of players might not consider the fact that you can use terrain to enhance your builds. So I'll give a few examples. For example, you can use trees to build a tree house and trees are extremely sturdy. So they will give a lot of support for your house. You don't have to worry about your base falling down if you just build on top of the tree. You might, however, have to be cautious for some other things, uh -huh. but yeah you can avoid that another example is building your base around a cave entrance for also a very cool and unique look or building your base on top of these huge ass stone pillars in the plains it's all possible so if you're up for a different type of challenge and you want a unique look for your base then yeah integrating terrain in your base can definitely be a nice way to do so Mistake number nine, not using X. So a common mistake is that players do not actually know that you can use X to reach difficult spots in Valheim. Here's an example to illustrate that. Let's say I want to place some beams under these floor tiles, but it's really not that easy when I'm standing up. So what do you do? Just press X and you'll sit down. And when you sit down, then the camera will drop a notch as well. And yeah, it's really easy now. I can place a beam at every corner and give these floor tiles some extra support. So yeah, using X makes things like this so much easier. Mistake number 10, it's impossible. So a lot of things are possible with building in Valheim. You can pretty much do anything if you use clipping or if you use the hoe. So I'll give you a few examples for seemingly impossible building tasks that you actually can do. So you can't place a campfire on a wooden floor tile, right? But if you use the hoe, raise the ground so a little bit of ground stacks on top of the floor, you can now put the campfire on that ground. Afterwards, use your pickaxe to mine away the ground and boom, there it is, a campfire on a wooden floor tile. So that's an example for the hoe. With clipping, you can also do a lot of things. For example, you can stack chests, you drop your chest, put a small floor tile on it and then drop the next chest on the floor tile and afterwards remove the floor tile and then just continue like that and you will get stacked chests. You can also hide things even if it might not make sense physically. For example, if you want to hide an iron beam, you can just place a different type of beam on it and boom, you'll hide it as well. Finally, you can also make a perfect circle with clipping, put a little beam, then rotate the next beam one tick and then clip them like that and you'll get a nice circle. In the same line of thinking, you can create a circular staircase and other things, etc, etc. So those were actually like five different tips, but yeah, you can see that a lot of things are actually possible with building. Just try to either use clipping or use your hoe when you think something is not possible. And that was it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you learned something. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, check out Viking Server Hosting if you want to rent a good server. Link for that is in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.